Okay, so um, we're back with the noise toaster, and um, this time I'm going to demonstrate the white noise generator. We've got the VCO switched to off, so we won't we won't hear the you know either of those ramp or square waves. I'm going to power it on, and uh, not sure about how how loud this needs to be, so it's balanced. Having some issues with that, but all right, we'll flip the noise white noise generator on. So um, the white noise goes through the VCF, the voltage control filter. So the cutoff frequency and resonance shape the sound. As you can hear. And then uh, we'll go to the back of the board so you can, you can show you the uh, oscilloscope trace. We've got the raw white noise output on pin 4 here, and we use the same pin X12 um, for the uh, filter. All right, so let's go to the oscilloscope trace. All right, I'm going to... Dial the, dial the volume back just a little bit. I don't think that will affect the scope trace. All right, so there's the um, the raw white noise, and it's a little asymmetrical. I'm not sure why. Um, it doesn't look quite the same as, as it does on Ray Wilson's images, but close enough. So then we move over to pin X12, which is, again, the, the output of... Oops, the output of the filter. That's a little tricky. And there it is. And you can see how it changes with the... I'm, I'm turning up the cutoff frequency now. It's all the way up to 10. I slipped off the pin. Let's try that again. Let's adjust the range too so you can see it a little bit better. And when I dial the resonance, it makes it a little thinner or I don't know how I'd describe it. And there you go. That's the white noise generator on the noise toaster.